Hello and welcome to my channel. My name's Ali and this here is Lex. And in today's video, I'm going to be going through five reasons why I think chinchillas make great pets. Just a little disclaimer, like with most pets, there are always pros and cons to owning them. So it's really important you do your thorough research and make sure the pet's right for you and look at all the pros and the cons of owning them. I just want to make that clear in this video because this video is just going to be based on the reasons why I think they make good pets. Now, if you want to see a pros and cons video, I do actually have one of those on my channel. I'll link it at the end of the video. Number five, chinchilla's lifespans. If you've ever wanted to care for a rodent, but you've been put off because of the short lifespan they have. For example, rats only live two to four years, hamsters two to three years, and mice I think about the same. Chinchillas might be the one for you. Because I don't know about you, but I get extremely emotionally distraught when I lose a pet. So I prefer to keep animals that are gonna be with me for a longer amount of time. Now, if you get a chinchilla that's healthy and that's looked after correctly, they can live up to 20 plus years. Obviously that means that you've got a long-term commitment there. So thorough research is absolutely vital to know that the pet is gonna be right for your lifestyle. However, um, that's true of any animal, whether it's an animal that lasts six months or an animal that lasts 60 years, you have to do your research. But if you want an animal that's gonna be a long-term long companion with you, then a chinchilla might be right for you. Number four, chinchillas are relatively quiet. Although they can make some strange and loud noises, it's not that often. The sounds, the vocals they make are few and far between. For example, during the day, if it wasn't for the, my cages in my room, you wouldn't really know they own chinchillas because they're that quiet during the day normally. Now, in the evening, they are a bit more active and they will bounce about the cage and they may make a noise when on the wheel. So I would highly recommend that you don't keep them in the same area that you're sleeping because they may keep you awake at night through the jumping around. But overall, they're very quiet really. The animal itself is really quite quiet. Number three, chinchillas rarely bite. Now, some people might disagree with me here. For example, some show breeders often say their chinchillas bite them more regularly. And that's generally because they're grooming their chinchillas. And most chinchillas don't really like being groomed. So of course, they're going to lash out and bite. But Generally, as a rule, most of my chinchillas will not bite me. I know they won't bite me. Um, obviously, it does depend on your chinchilla's personality. If you've got a particularly skittish chinchilla that doesn't like being held, if you're holding them and they don't like being held, then they may well bite you. I've owned hamsters in the past, and if you gave me the choice between holding a hamster and handling a chinchilla, I would handle a chinchilla every time over a hamster. Now, I loved my hamster, it was a Russian dwarf hamster, but he did used to hang off my fingers when he wanted to bite me. And it's not because I was handling him incorrectly, it's just that he was quite unpredictable. So yeah, so I find they're quite friendly. Number two, chinchillas don't really smell a lot. Some people claim that chinchillas are odourless, this is not true at all. They, their urine does smell like all animals' urine. It does smell, but it's nowhere near as potent as a rat's or a mice urine. And as long as you keep the cage nice and clean and regularly clean the bedding and the cages, 
then you're, the smell is going to be negligible. You're not going to smell like it's not going to hit you as you walk in chinchilla smell. It's, it's quite, it's not a lot of smell at all. But yeah, they do, they do have an odour, but it's just not particularly strong. Number one, chinchillas, I think, are middle of the range in terms of maintenance. For example, I have much higher maintenance animals that I own, and I think that chinchillas are quite low maintenance, really, compared to them. For example, I own rabbits and I own birds, and I find my rabbits and birds much higher maintenance than I do my chinchilla, and now I'll explain why. Chinchilla's diet, for example, chinchilla diet is very, very simple. What they need is they need a good quality chinchilla pellet and they need good quality hay, clean, fresh water, and some wood and chew toys to chew on. That's it. They don't actually need treats. You can give them treats, but it has to be very, very sparingly. So not every day. They don't need treats every day. There's some really healthy treats you can give chinchillas that are not going to cause too much stomach upset and really they have to be few and far between. So with most pets you hear the um, saying variety is the spice of life. With chinchillas it's very good to keep their food pretty much the same day in day out because that way they won't get digestive issues. Now for a rabbit I have to prepare them fresh salad every day and for my birds, for my budgies, I have to prepare chop every day for them, which is vegetables and, and fruits. So that's the difference. Chinchillas don't need their nails trimmed. For example, my, my rabbits need their nails trimmed. My birds on occasion need their nails trimmed. Chinchillas don't really have claws or nails. Their, their feet are quite soft. So they're never ever going to need their nails trimmed. It just doesn't happen with chinchillas. They don't really suffer from parasites, things like mites and fleas. Their fur is too thick and too dense to ever get mice and mites and fleas. But they may get ringworm, but that's a fungal infection, so that's not mites, mites and fleas. Whereas my birds have to be regularly treated for mites, not because they have mites, just as a preventative measure. They have to be treated for mites. My, ch my chickens outside have to be treated for mites. They have to be treated for all kinds of things to make sure they're kept healthy. So really, chinchillas are quite easy to look after. In terms of bathing, all they need is a dust bath. And they can have that three times a week for half an hour in their cage. That's all they need. And dust is readily available at most big pet shops. It is fairly simple stuff. Yeah, so that's why I think they make great pets. They're quite easy to look after once you know what's safe for them and what's not safe for them. Some people would disagree with me there. Some people would say they're extremely hard to look after, but I don't find that at all. I find them much easier than my rabbits and my birds. Extra bonus reason. They are so interesting to watch. When they're out of the cage, on the floor, playtime, or in their cage, they are so interesting to watch. I could watch them for hours. They are quite intelligent as well. So they're just fascinating pets to me. But yeah, there's my five reasons. I'm sure there's more, more valid reasons, but these are the ones that I could think of now. Um, if you've got any more reasons why you think chinchillas are great, put them down in the comments. I'd be really interested to read them. Thanks for watching.